Mark McComb. I'm the director of the Cardiovascular Proteomics Center at Boston University School of Medicine. I work with Kathy Costello, and uh, we're one of the uh, Cardiovascular Proteomics Centers, part of a consortium that's around the entire United States. And so our mission is to study the proteome and post-translational modifications of plasma proteins, tissue proteins, as a function of a cardiovascular disease in the elucidation of, you know, discovery of novel biomarkers and, you know, get a better understanding of the molecular me mechanism of the disease state. The HUPO organization is, you know, what I see as a global consortium of individual research scientists and groups all working together to achieve a common goal. And that is to understand, you know, the complete proteomes of, you know, the human proteome, other proteomes as well, and, you know, to map out the proteins, modifications, you know, understand what is going on in the human state, you know, for benefit of humanity. Where this is going, I think, um, you know, we will cure disease. You know, as, as a consortium, you know, as a global effort, we will, you know, understand what is going on translating from the genomic era into the proteomics era. Um, and also now we're looking at metabolomics as well as post-translational modifications and glycation events. We've already begun to discover biomarkers of disease. We've gained a better understanding of molecular me mechanisms of disease. And I think this is the you know, route going forward in the scientific community to understand disease and thus affect treatment. Getting everybody together on a global scale is probably the only way we can solve the complexity of human disease. The HUPO community has grown certainly from a small group of consortium scientists to a fairly large community. I think there's about a thousand people here in Boston at the conference. Great to see the international collaborative efforts. Um, there's been great um, great effort being made on you know, mapping the chromosomes now to proteomes. Um, targeting focus on disease states, you know, cancer, cardiovascular disease. There's a great push now for glycomics, so we're involved with that, we're very excited about that. And then also quite interesting is the large amount of information and development on uh, bioinformatics. And so this is really going to push, I think, you know, you know, the next couple of years of, you know, HUPO and proteomics research, you know, glycomics and informatics, you know, mapping out you know, glycosylation events across all proteins, and then looking at you know, very advanced bioinformatics tools to gain a very broad sense of what's going on, because it's just a huge, huge amount of information.